Hi there, Doreen here, <laughs> first year member of Heart of New Jersey. Um, I'm laughing because I had to decide um, if it was still my first year or not. Uh, starting next week, I will be a second year member. Woo! Uh, still new, still a newbie, still figuring things out. But um, for now, I am still a first year member of the Heart of New Jersey, a chapter of Sweet Adeline's or, um, International. And today, I just want to talk about uh, two things real quick. Uh, one is the trip thong that I mentioned in the last video. I felt bad kind of like leaving you there saying like, well, I don't know what it is. Good luck. Bye. That wasn't very nice of me. Um, but in my defense, I didn't know what it was. And what if I had just come across something that like everybody knew but me? So I wanted to tread carefully. So, shrimp thong um, is basically like a dip thong, but with three sounds. Shrimp three. Um, so a good example of this would be the word child. Of course, typical everyday English word child has one vowel. It's a very smooth, flat-sounding word, child. Um, when you sing child, however, um, we, we found a way to break it up into three vowel sounds. That's right, folks. Three vowel sounds. Not one, not two, but three. For example, the word child, when sung especially in a ballad, when you have all that time to romance the audience with your vowels, um, the word child becomes Ah, e, ild, ild, child. That's three sounds. So that's a trip song, and that's basically all I think you need to know, because that's uh, that's all I need to know. And um, yeah, that's all we need to know. Okay. Until next time. Enjoy the journey, my friend.